You think we're going to beat all these games? Nope. Backlog Boys. No, probably not. All right. A Titan. Whoa. Now, so this guy it... looks familiar. Does Seeing it? this guy and that name makes me think that we did make it this far in this game back in the day. Um, so That's another one. Yep, they're closing cool. in on me. But we pulled up Know Your Meme. Yeah, we wanted to know more about the WoW guy because we both, find him, about him. we both find him fascinating and hilarious and we just wanted to know what that was from. So it looks like Vaughn's going to possibly expose that here for us. Yep. He has a Know Your Meme page dedicated to him, of course. Yeah, yeah. anything on Know Your Meme is an interesting and hilarious read. So tell us, Vaughn. All right, so his name is Eddie Wally, the guy. Okay. He, he, you'd be familiar with him. He, he does the wink, you know. Yeah. He says wow, and then he winks. Wow. Um, and the summary is that it's a clip um, of a video of Belgian singer Eddie Wally looking into the camera and saying wow, which is often featured in montage and parodies. Yes. Um, scrolling down, there's a lot of ads. <laughs> no, you're mean. These guys are tough, but they can't really do anything from a distance. So. Um, I'll read more. I have to actually click read more on the mobile version. They're, they're faster. Yeah, they do seem a little bit quicker than the golems as far as their attack cycle. Maybe slowing, slower walking, but faster attack. Could be. Seems plausible. Give this girl a slice of cheese, get her perked up. <laughs> On, on October 8th, 2007, YouTuber uh, DJ Ven Sturkey 2 uploaded a video <laughs> titled Wally, in which Eddie Wally appears in front of a blue screen and says, Wow. That's the whole video. Um, in the next seven years, the video gained over 261,000 comments, or views, and 300 comments. Mm -hmm. um, there's more on here. Spread on January seventeenth, two thousand fourteen, YouTuber H3H3 H3 Productions uploaded a video in which Eddie Wally is edited over. Um, because I think there was like a, it was, a, they were like commenting on or what was it? They they used it to cover up something like they, his head was like covering. Oh, like something censoring that they had to censor. something. Yeah, that's funny. Um, but not the actual clip, just his face. I think he says wow. Like he, he, oh, know. okay. So he like shows up and then winks and then, um. Does he wink and then say wow or does he say wow and then so wink? says wow and then winks. Okay. Yeah. Um, God, I want to know the context so badly. It looks like that's. So did he just like, but I mean the original video, like did he like sing yeah. a song and then that was like his sign off? <laughs> or was that like his entrance? You know what I mean. The, um, I'm looking for it. There's a 10 hour version if you if you want. Of course. To know. I love 10 hour versions of and things. Search interest has peaked in since uh, 2014. Thanks, Ethan. Ooh, a peridot or perido, as you told me it was pronounced. Yes, I think so. I've always thought it was peridot, but I've only ever seen it in games, and it was never said out loud. So. I will believe you. Almost done with this back floor. Yeah, it just says... Um, oh, that was pretty decent. We got two gems. It just says that in 2014 it was uploaded... Um, by Ethan? By, or a video... It was featured in a video with by Ethan. So. And that was the first resurgence since 2007? Other than montage parodies, I guess? Yeah. I was going to say, there's no way that he solely brought it back. Well, that's when, let's see, let's see the search interest. That's when the search yeah, interest Yeah, the search interest peaked. was nothing from all the way from 2007, really. They were like little, huh. little bumps. That seems crazy to imagine that he was the one that, like, started that. That brought it back to get used in all those MLG videos. Yeah. Because yeah, I, it it, I just think of it as being something that was much older than that. All right, we're done with this back floor. On September 27th. Um, hey, that's my birthday. 20... Also 2014. YouTuber Garonin uploaded a video titled Eddie MLG Wally is Illuminati. So Nice. 
So yeah, I guess that became... I guess, yeah, H3H3 using it was the resurgence. We'll have to do some research. Yeah, maybe know your... And it says, know your meme did say that that page is still, uh, still in the works, so... Well, yeah, I would assume they say that about most of them. All right, time for a celebratory soda. Yeah? For a Looking successful back floor. Yeah, man, we got a, a hippo on the show today. Um, nice purple label what caught my attention. What do hippos sound like? Hippos? Yeah. They sound terrifying. Okay. I, they sound pretty similar to lions. They just kind of roar. Okay. Um, Loud noise. Yeah, they'll they'll kill you. They actually they I think I've they kill they kill more, they more kill more people than, than, than lions. any other animal yeah. on the planet. Um, they're very angry, not to be trifled with. But this is a hippo huckleberry, and it smells amazing. Okay, so let's get a taste. What oh those, yeah. What are those footprints for? Like, that's that's how we know where to land when the cannon comes. Um, can we use loops is it, now? Was it dropping you off at the train station or something? Yeah. There we go. Now we can finally get back to using this little dagger again. Whoa. Moon digger. Oh no. These guys are the worst. All right, Toasty. Oh, that's right. We want to switch her. We want to status break this weapon. And put it on this one. So we do want to use the bandit slingshot for now, then. No, it's ready to status break. Oh, is it's it? at level eight. Oh yeah, it is. So we can drop it on there, um, and this needs a bunch of stuff to build up, so that'll help out immensely. Okay. So exciting content right here on the backlog, boys. Uh, status yeah. break. Oh, gotcha. My attachments are full. Um, in that case, let's uh, put something on here really quick. Um, speed or something. Okay, now we can status break. 60% of the weapon's power getting sealed. Boom. Boom. And now we go on here and put it on here. Boom. Watch the stats climb. A little bit of wind. Hey, and a decent amount of stuff on that page. Mostly, you get stuff from that front page, which is real nice. Yeah, they all go up a lot. Yeah, except for magic, because we didn't put any magic into it. And it adds the steel ability. That's good. So, that's the best part. Did you take a sip of it? I did. Would you like to try it? Yeah. It's very good. It's got a nice fruity flavor, but it's also got that crackly bite. Okay. Um, you know, huckleberry. I'm not exactly sure what huckleberry is, but it's not nearly as sweet as other berries. It's got some... Some bitter bite to it too, like a yeah, like, can, like a blackberry. In there. I think it's similar to a blackberry, but I'm not exactly sure it's, what yeah, this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, all the hippo ones are really good. Are they all fruity? Or are they all a variety of things? Um, there's a variety of things. They have a lot of cream sodas, or I say a lot. They might just have the one, but they have a cream soda for sure. Okay, Toasty's getting wrecked here. Um. Not a good choice. As you can get put in an MLG montage getting wrecked with a guy saying, Yeah. Wow. Sorry, Eddie <laughs> Wally. You know wow. who it is now. Let's switch to the Charming Lady. See if she fares better against the Moon Digger. These guys are probably the most annoying game enemy in the game so far. Um, they've just really gotten my goat continuously. It'd be really bad to fight him as melee, too. Oh, yeah. They get you every time. Oh, I was going to ask you a question. Mm-hmm. I was just looking at your amiibos. Mm-hmm. Austin has several amiibos. Yep. Um, unfortunately, I... Let me just say, I'm not a collector of amiibo. Uh, I only buy the ones that, that you want. I want. Okay. I don't want all of them. So I guess that makes me a collector in some capacity, because I have collected a certain Did amount of them. To, you wanted the Dark Pit one? Uh, no, I didn't want the Dark okay. the dark Pit one. I have a buddy who works for Best Buy, and he was like, you want one? And I was like, sure. Okay, so you just took because it was free. Uh, yeah, he he bought it for me. Okay, because it was an exclusive, and that was back when they were like really rare and hard to find, okay. and, and now they're they're not. So if somebody wanted that for some reason, I would give it away. Uh, okay, but I was wondering because I was looking at Ness and Lucas, uh -huh. whom you have next to each other because same series. They're very important to me. And very important. Okay, that's why they're close to the top. Yes. All right. Those are probably my my most treasured amiibo, okay. especially Lucas. Because, you know, Mother 3 gets no love. Yeah. Um, so, Lucas has eyebrows. 
Yep. Uh, Ness does not. Yeah. Do you know why? I'm not sure. I don't know there's, if they're sprites. In I don't. The game, yes. I think. I think. Uh, like, I think Ness's eyebrows are just kind of implied because, like, he has the bangs and the hat, and yeah. maybe it's just implied that the eyebrows are underneath there, or. But like. Or he just doesn't. His hairline is still like. A ways up there. Like, if you look at Lucas, you know? Yeah. It could just be because Mother 3 was a newer game and they had the capacity to fit in eyebrows. And whereas they just Ness, retained Ness's, Ness's original yeah. form. Yeah, Ness is like a 16 pixel tall sprite. Yeah. So they couldn't have exactly put eyebrows in there. Okay. That's my guess. And then for Smash Bros., they just chose to maybe keep to Ness. Keep his keep the original retro form. look. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because he probably didn't have eyebrows when they put him in uh, the original Smash Bros. And then they probably just tried to keep him and then, true to life. And, and Lucas didn't come along until Brawl. Right. So they had that makes make sure. sense. Yeah. Okay. Look at us figuring that stuff out. Wow. Real detectives. Together. Wow. We're starting our memes. Dude, wow starting factor. Our amiibos. Nothing but wow factor in season five. Nothing but wow. <laughs> and not World of Warcraft. But, no. But. No. Genuine... I mean, we're Aww. not we're not opposed to World of Warcraft, but we're not we're not players, so we couldn't really contribute to any conversations. Speak for yourself. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You did play it for a while, didn't you? I did not. No, I've never played it. Never set foot inside of a, a real MMO. I've played. I mean, played we talked about Dogs of the game. Seas, but uh, you know, <laughs> most people probably wouldn't consider that a real MMO. Yeah. Even though it technically was. Die, William H. Oh, another one of you? These guys are my least favorite. I do like having this arsenal of characters. To switch back and forth. Yeah, them. like, yeah. I I do like that there are certain situations that call for certain ones. We haven't really found certain situations that call for all of them. But, uh... Yeah, like, it seems like we still... Well, we, we still haven't found one for Raisin yet. No, he hasn't had much of a calling lately. But, uh... When we start getting the better weapons, maybe that'll change. Maybe he'll be super strong or something. Well, and it, what he do is, does is he outranges the other two. He does, like, yeah. He does have the best range of all the melee characters. And unlike Cookie, he has a combo. Hey, a power powder, nice. Die you! Yeah. Oh, he stole my money. <laughs> what a bastard! Holy crap! He stole a lot. 3,000. 3, what a bastard. Magic Crystal. Touch this last ball here. Kill nice. a couple kill a couple shovelers. And then uh, tomorrow so on the boys. The, it's not the Paco 7, really. It has to be the Paco 8. No, this guy is different. He, he's on a completely different planet. Yeah, but maybe he was he's banished. He's like a Mormon Paco. Maybe he was banished from the Paco 7. Could be. He's called the Hell Paco, so. Yeah. Maybe they told him to go to Hell and he didn't know where that was, <laughs> so he went to the moon. <laughs> Tomorrow on the boys, we're off to uh, another floor. He must, the hell Paco must have a hell of a story, huh? He must have a hell of a gift.